morning everyone. Today's video will be about recycling, specifically at home. Julia Flores will take us through a step-by-step -step guide in setting up a recycling station at home. We hope you maybe give it a go. <laughs> so first we need to set up a recycling station. As you can see, my kitchen does not have a lot of space. So I strategically need to make sure that I put the trash cans in a space that doesn't bother my family when we cook. So what I'm actually going to do is use the outside space that we have here and put the trash cans here. There's five sections that you need to have. Organic, paper, glass, plastic, and non-recyclable waste. First, I'm going to put the organic waste right here because we actually use it a lot. So in the organic goes any food waste that you have. However, what does not go in here that you might forget is things such as frying oil or chewing gum. Instead, what you can do for frying oil, you can get one of these and you can filter the oil that you use through here and you can reuse it for another time that you need to fry something. Paper, glass and plastic are gonna go outside. In the plastic bin, you're also going to include things such as tin and carton. For plastic, there's certain type of plastics that you can't put in the plastic bin, such as chewing gum wrapping or any pill wrapping. For tin, you shouldn't put any type of spray cans that contains chemicals, such as deodorant, or any type of butter wrapping. For a carton, you can only put carton that is used for food, such as milk, juices, or soup packaging. The other types of carton go in the paper bin. However, there are certain things that you can put in, such as sanitary paper, photos, or any type of plasticized paper. And again, there are some things that you can't put in the glass bin. Heat-resistant glasses, such as teacups, porcelain and ceramic products, or other things such as broken light bulbs or mirrors. Once you take your trash to the recycling stations in town, you need to make sure that you're aware of the glass. The glass is either clear or colored. Typically, you have to separate them, but the clear glass can go in the colored glass. However, the colored glass can't go in the clear. For more information on what can go in the bins and what can't, go to the Municipality of The Hague website where they have information on how to recycle other products such as textiles, chemical waste, or any electronics. On the topic of recycling, today after school there will be a trash audit. We will follow up on the results of this trash audit next week. Thank you for watching. And see you tomorrow.